Yo, Scott, what are we snacking on? Chicken taquitos, I think, today. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Guys, welcome back to What's For Lunch. This is our Super Bowl snack series. Today, I'm joined by Blackhawks legend, Scott Darling. Scott, thanks for being here. So happy to be here. Uh, I can't cook at all, so I'm so excited for this that's, thing. That's perfect. To learn from the best. And we're doing easy stuff. Super Bowl, you just want to make it as easy as possible. You want to do taquitos, we're doing buffalo chicken because Super Bowl, everyone wants buffalo chicken. So we'll mix it up. We'll do like a little fun version of that. This episode is brought to us by Shipt. Shipt makes Super Bowl shopping super easy. They do all the hard work for you. All you got to do Sit on your couch, order the ingredients, ship will take care of it, deliver it all the way to your front door. And they made shopping super easy. They're the official sponsor of our big game house in Las Vegas. They're taking care of everybody's big game needs. They're taking care of this episode. So all we're gonna need from Ship is we have a rotisserie chicken that's shredded here. Not shipped, won't shred it. I've done this myself. I have some cheddar cheese, some blue cheese. And here I have our classic, just Frank's buffalo sauce, a little bit of ranch dressing, and then some celery and uh, some chives. You'll need corn tortillas. You can use flour. I prefer corn just because we're gonna be frying these. We wanna get nice and crispy. I feel like the dips are overplayed, so we're gonna do like a variation of a buffalo chicken dip, yeah. and then we're gonna roll it up in a tortilla and fry it. How are your knife skills? You wanna do some chopping for sure. me? Sure. All right, so this celery, we're gonna take it, just do the three slices down here, and then just chop it up as finely as you can. I'm gonna give you the big knife here. So oh when you're holding the knife, your forefinger here and your thumb here, and that's really a whole grip. You don't even need the handle. Look at you're you're a lot more control me already. that way. Saving my digits. You know, watch those fingers. I don't those. need them anymore. Well, that's that's fair. You have the tattoos to be a chef. You have you, yeah. you look like you could. Be. I look like I could, but I can't. I gotta say, you've won a Stanley Cup, so congrats on that, bud. But Thank you. the Super Bowl definitely has a more iconic uh, food scene around it. I oh, guess because it's just one game. I don't know if there is a food scene with a Stanley Cup. It's just drinking out of it, I guess. All right, how are we looking on that? I'm getting there. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's coming along. I'm gonna shred up some cheese. Cheddar. Boom. Just like that. That's such good grating. How about when you were playing hockey, how strict was your uh, diet? Oh, so strict. What was it actually? I got put in fat camp one time. Really? When I was in Carolina. That's actual, that's a thing. There's yeah. A fat camp? Generally, I was really in shape, but I had one year where I wasn't, and they made sure I was. So. What's your cooking, what's the situation like at home? My wonderful girlfriend, she cooks a lot. I just tried to cook for her for the first time, together a while, first time trying to cook. Not that great. It looked disgusting, but it tasted pretty good. Okay, as long as it tastes She was better. happy with it, but I mean, I could do better, and that's why you're here well, to teach me. And this isn't like the ideal uh, date night food, so we'll have you back on for a normal episode. Well, we can recreate that dish you tried to make, and we'll, we'll, we'll fix it up. The shredded chicken's going in, and we'll go in with our buffalo sauce, and then some cheddar cheese, and a little bit of ranch. If you want to make it even creamier or cheesier, throw in some cream cheese. Look at how nice of a job Scott did there, chopping that celery. Good celery cut. goes in. Chives or green onions, whatever you have on hand. I had some chives lying around. Let's give that a mix. Here, shuffle that all together. Oh yeah? You still skate at all? I'm considering joining a men's league. Really? As, as, a, a, goalie? as a goalie? Really? That's yeah. not fair. I can't do that. It's been a <laughs> year. I've been retired for about two years, but like, I kind of miss it. Damn I got up. that itch a little bit, and I talked to the, the GM of the Hawks. I was like, what's your goalie situation? The fastest no I've ever <laughs> heard in my life. No. The Blackhawks have a great future, so I'm, not, ha I'm happy for them. Not even an open tryout? No, not, not even just like the just pan? Nope. Not even a... Just Damn. nope. Hard no. Who was your favorite goalie growing up? At Belfort. Really? From the Hawks, yeah. He was my guy. Some of these might be overstuffed, but we'll see. We're gonna roll them up. So what's the key to rolling? Honestly, these, we're not even trying to do anything fancy and like fold them up. We're just going end over end and stabbing with a toothpick. I already broke my first one. Wait a minute, Scott. Yeah, well, Jeez. it's all right. We'll make it work. It's gonna taste good, I know that. It's my fault, I can't cook. We're not firing all cylinders right now. It's, it's, it's too many pucks to the head, I think. Yeah, goalies combined. Whoops. I did not graduate college. <laughs> I didn't either. I dropped out for this, so. Well, you're doing it. I'm on the board. I think you're sad. <laughs> <laughs> You've already retired. So I'm putting a little egg on there to help seal it. And that's the best you're going to get from me. Well, you know what? <laughs> that's not the worst. So these are going to go in the fryer uh, at 375. Just until the chip is crispy. Tortillas fry up super fast. So probably like a minute. That was a fucking good roll. Thank you. Needed a win. Needed a win. Needed you got it on the last one. Look at that. That's what you're looking for, golden brown. And you don't need a deep fryer to do this either. You can do it just shallow fry in a pan and you can rotate it. And once the shell hardens, it's gonna hold its shape. And if you have anything that rips like we had, we'll just save these. I'll show you, we'll make fresh tortilla chips. One of the best things in the world. Any of the scraps we can take, we'll make tortilla chips. Oh, that's like a sizzle. 
so good being a sous chef. All right, besides a few mishaps with the rolling, <laughs> that's how easy it is to make little taquitos. And if you want to do it with flour tortillas, they're not going to break as much. They're going to absorb more oil when you fry them though. So you want to just dust them lightly in a little cornstarch and then you can fry them that way. Same thing, same result. Very good too. These though, I just like because you get the crunch of a chip. Ooh. Just like that, look at it. Would you look at that? You got a little ranch if you want to dip it in there. Cheers. Cheers. They turned out great. Yeah, that's a Super Bowl snack right there. <laughs> you got buffalo chicken, you have chips. What's not to like? Yeah, tastes great. Guys, that's gonna do it for the Super Bowl series. Scott, thanks for being here. We'll have you on again. We'll do a whole <laughs> real chicken dinner or something like that. We'll see you next time on What's For Lunch. I'm Donnie, peace.